Smokers, listen up. Lawmakers just passed a bill that will soon prohibit you from smoking or vaping in a vehicle when a child is present. WAF 48's Claudia Peppenhorst joins us live in studio. Claudia, the bill's sponsor says this bill has been in the works for six years. Yes, Liz, and after two attempts to get it passed through legislation, Representative Rolanda Hollis was finally successful. She says her goal was to keep the children of Alabama healthy and safe. HB3 is to help our babies and to keep them healthy. House Bill 3 was passed just last week, meaning that soon Alabamians will no longer be able to smoke or vape in a car with a child that is 14 years old or younger. And that's if the windows are up or down. This bill has been introduced to the legislation twice before but did not pass. Representative Hollis says she feels like the bill's outcome this year was different because lawmakers understood that her main goal was to protect children, not regulate if people smoke. People realized that I was not trying to uh, regulate their body and tell them what they put in and out their body. I could just jump out of a car. You could just jump out of a car. But when you have kids, they just they don't have a choice. They cannot jump out of the car. If you're caught, the offense can only be charged as a secondary violation. Hollis says if you get pulled over and a cop has probable cause that you were smoking in the car with a child present, you can be fined up to $100. David Battle with Partnership for a Drug-Free Community says he agrees that the way to hold parents accountable is to make them cough up some cash. To pay up is to wake up. Uh, usually when you hit somebody in the pocket, uh, that's when they, it dawns on them that Wait a minute, um, I need to take a look at this. The secondhand smoke from cigarettes and vapes can stick to clothes, furniture, and car seats, then causing people to breathe in nicotine, heavy metals, ultrafine particles, and cancerous chemicals. Dr. Wes Stubblefield with the Alabama Department of Public Health says many parents may not know about the health effects of secondhand smoke, so the most important thing to do is educate yourself. I think it's important for people to realize that realize that young children are at risk for the from these products um and that they want and they do want to protect their children people people want to protect their kids and so i think this is um this is something that people should understand and should understand the risks the bill is now awaiting the governor's signature to become law liz 